November the 29, 2023, this is going into MKUltra section of the proofs about MKUltra. And what better than for me to take on the biggest enemies I practically had no clue even I had. Uh, enemies involved in MKUltra with a so go to destroy me. Second to psychiatrist Peter Kopsch, and there was no worse person than psychiatrist Peter Kopsch, was a nurse Yanko from Home for Elderly People, for whom I already have uh, briefly gave idea about who this guy was. Uh, on another occasion he would... In this video, however, I want to be very, very precise. I am going to use this pro, uh, video as a proof of MKUltra. And we also press criminal case against Yanko. Nurse Yanko, dental nurse Yanko, who qualified himself into a nurse and works, at least it worked, at the department where my father is practically hospitalized in home for elderly people. Uh, the reason for such a great difficulties I had with Nurse Yanko identifying one there are many. I'm going to discuss a few at the end of this video. <clears throat> but I guarantee you that at the end of this video, everything will be clear about, in details, about who this criminal was and is. I will demand 10 life sentences for this individual because this is an individual who boosted the crime against me genocide against me involved numerous people with his grandfather against me uh, second to psychiatrist Peter Kapsch more even than police I believe was this nurse Yanko and the way he did this operation against me was actually according to instructions of his grandfather, who was a Yugoslav military UNA, UNA Yugoslav military officer. Uh, this individual was involved in intelligence. Uh, he had a very high ranking. He was high ranking. Uh, officer and contrary to what I suggested in this video I'm going to make a little correction about it if this is a city of the novel master we're going to go straight here it's called Yakcheva Ulitsa right here and contrary to my statements, which I have made, how Yanko lived in uh, either this building or, the, or one of these buildings here in the middle floor, I am going to move up the street like this, like this, uh, and will position myself here, where is practically the last two buildings before you see the, you know, these buildings here behind, right? When this parking opens and you see all these buildings behind here. Uh, I believe that <clears throat> grandfather from the nurse Yanko live on the top floor in this building right here. So this is one thing I'm going to correct. And this is probably, I believe, probably I say because 
I'm going to explain to you what went on with this criminal. 100% correct information. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to describe the man I never ever met in person other than during MK Ultra, and I should not even know about this guy ever even existed. I shouldn't know about his grandfather. This is like fucking insane that you would go in the city and you would pick up somebody that you never met in person. This is crazy, actually. Well, his grandfather was very, very Slovenia. He looked very, very Slovenia. Uh, I'm not sure if he did have blue eyes, uh, but he was a light complexion and he might have actually even glasses, I think, but I'm not sure about it. He also might have been even from Bela Kraina. He might have not been from Zhihovo Selo. Seems to me that his mother is originating from Zhihovo Selo, but I do not know about that. That's not necessary uh, information, or maybe he's from Kocelio or something like this. I don't know. I got a feeling, I got an impression under MK Ultra that he actually moved to the city of the Novo Mester from some other location. I do not, however, I cannot guarantee that. If that is true, more power to me. This The third thing, so I described the man as looking very Slovenian. Uh, actually, very, very Slovenian guy. Very, very typical Slovenian face. Um, it kind of reminds me of the guy here that is at Aragovo, and I might actually make a sketch about what he actually looked like. He was involved in intelligence, in the military intelligence. Everybody in Yanko, his family was uh, involved in national resistance and a partisan movement. Uh, a possibility has in it that this guy was a partisan too. Hey, Yanko at least claimed me that he was a partisan. So we're talking about the grandfather of Yanko. Um, the way Yanko assisted his grandfather in genocide against me was in a very, very, very fine way. This was very, very um, This, is, this was as criminal, as murderous as anything can possibly be. No, mommy, playing much. In this area, there was a lot of military officers. Their kids, their kids, All sorts of people. Well, uh, they were looking at the time when Slovenia was becoming independent, finally became independent. Uh, for as many people as possible, they will be willing to help me out. Mama doesn't like this video. I'm going to explain to you exactly why. The one who would not allow people to get involved in it, literally, that would jump in front of the people was according to instructions of the grandfather, none other than Yanko, who claimed is going to help me out no matter what, is going to help and no matter what, and literally they pushed people that wanted to help out away so that he would go and help out. And the way he helped out, in a parenthesis, helped, was that he would go to the Serbs 
preliminary. He would go to Udba people, to the people that hated new Slovenia more than anything. And as soon as Slovenia became independent country, wanted to overthrow one as fast as possible. They were just waiting for the Serbian tanks to enter the city to give them full support. Basically, this kind of people in the area is what Janko was gathering in my support. His support went hand in hand with the physical torture. People whom he involved in the case all performed engaged in the physical torture against me. So he was creating a rip current of as many as possible people in the area, exactly according to this Yugoslav officer, grandfather of Janko, exactly according to his instructions, a grandfather who swore to God that he will get me killed, that he will get me destroyed, that he will get me killed. And so he transferred his mission to his younger grandson, who was all eager to take on me with the idea to finish the task his grandfather commenced already in 1985. And that's about six years earlier than what Slovenian independence came. This grandfather of Janko was a really no good person. As a matter of fact, it was not even 1985. It must have been probably 1982, since I was probably 10 years old. If not even earlier, he was one of the first people as a Yugoslav officer who was Slovenian. As for all others, it was all one of, one of the very few that was Slovenian. As for the others, everything was Serbia. Not necessary, maybe also from other republics or whatever, but they supported Serbia. So, like it or not, somehow I embraced this individual. This guy was actually involved probably since I was at least 10 years old, if not earlier. Grandfather I'm talking about. So once he gathered this, once Janko gathered this huge balloon of this Serbs and supporters of Great Serbia. He started to intimidate, he started to lure and ties basically also Slovenian people into it. And once Slovenian people would get into it and wanted to help, he started to ask them if they're not disturbed that I don't like, let's say, Serbs which are, by the way, their neighbors. Now you get the feel. Uh, neighbor across the street, neighbor next to you, these are apartment buildings. Neighbor everywhere around you, a little city, as soon as you see guys walking on the street, terrorizing people, engaging in a terror. Before you know, this entire area turned into a terror zone. That's why I said 10 life sentences for this criminal is not enough. This is how Janko managed to turn maybe half of the city against me. That's exactly how Janko assisted psychiatrist Peter Kapsch and Slovenian police, best of his abilities, or maybe even Slovenian police assisted him. Janko, whose grandfather once died, swore and swore in my face, who get me killed no matter what. This is the guy because of whom my teeth are displaced, all twisted back and forth. The guy that would use these injections to soften the jaws, dents, and then play with the teeth, basically, moving them back and forth. The guy that assisted in me losing two very important teeth afterwards, the dentist, Janko, uh, the guy that was jumping on my left foot, hitting on my left foot, the guy that would push me against the wall when I was drugged up at home for elderly people, 
for me to smash with my head against the wall, the guy that would put his legs behind me when I was jerked up and push me time and again for me to hit with my head against, well, concrete floor, if you like. Tails, tails, I don't know how you say that. The guy that physically tortured inside of the home for elderly people where with the cops, they would have me restrained for up to one month at the time restrained to the bed. The guy who was finally was involved in torture, actively in torture since actively since 1988. So you get the feel about what kind of guy this is, guy who was dreaming about that when it all ends, actually that when I'm going to be complaining about my teeth, that he's going to beat all my teeth out and that he would love nothing more than to kick brain out of my head and etc etc say he's got a lot of questions to answer to police about this stuff the guy who entered this house during mk ultra and presented himself as the owner of one to me using other people to literally suggest me that when I see him entering the house, I'm dead, etc., etc. Uh, this, this guy, yeah. Um, I don't actually any, have anything else to say. I think that this is a very, very good description about, this is a very short, but really in details, uh, the best description I can give about who Yanko is. My mother used to know his grandfather very well because when she was walking down the street, we would oftentimes stop at his place. Um, and more often, even more often, at the request of this individual, or maybe something was wrong with my mom, I have no fucking clue. I was delivered to this place for nothing other than torture. I would spend day after day at his place, neighbors inside of this apartment buildings to be nothing other than tortured. And it goes back to when I was actually probably eight years old. It goes to Milan Tatalovic when I was taken from our house to this building here, yeah? At the top, right below the top floor, there was this Tatala, which I already have spoken to you. That is a Serb from Croatia, where they would take care of me. So, I don't know how, how long this guy has been involved in. This guy probably was involved maybe, maybe since kindergarten. I don't know. This is where our house is, old house. And they would take me mornings through this street here. Oh, everything, all this building that you see, this is what we're, this is the stuff I'm talking about. This place here, eight years when I was old, for sure, that I know. When I was eight years old, for sure, that I was, that I found myself here. But I'm thinking about something else. You know, why would I find myself when I was eight years old, excuse me, eight years old in this building, if at this individual, he had a apartment a unit on this side, I think. The apartment unit was on this side, I think. Whether it was this building or was this building, I don't, I am, actually, I am thinking about, I'm really not certain about that. That's something I didn't take time enough to analyze, but I know that he was 
this here. This is this is this is his place here. You understand? Uh, the problem is Yanko took me to all these buildings here, everywhere, from one neighbor to another. I, my mother, and Yanko, we would spend here months going from one apartment to the other. Wherever Yanko got the leads, I would be delivered inside where people would torture me in front of my mother. My mother would have to observe, stay. At the end of the day, from door to door, this torture went. It would be here, and the only thing they would do is they would dash what people refer to as a hope, including using my mother, who would look at me extremely disappointing for declining to have absolutely anything to do with the Serbs soon grew up into war zone, basically, with my unwilling to give up anything at all, any millimeter. So now you know exactly who Nurse Yanko is. Nurse Yanko also stated me, uh, Mom, just as I said, the mother was not happy about it. I already knew that something is itching her. Uh, she just didn't know that I know exactly what. And if you watch this, you cannot but agree with me. Zhihovo Selo, as I stated, two kilometers away from where I live at now. Um, this was his and his sisters. Oh, I didn't mention that, right? He had a sisters also. A home, um, sold one, a property, a sister moved out. And um, the only thing that happened was, the only thing for me to finish this story is Yanko kept this house here, still keeps one ownership, hopes that he will get his property back. And from what I recall, when he was young, uh, he, he grew up in this house, in this side of the house is basically what he claimed me. Uh, what is to believe when it comes to Yanko? I already explained who Yanko is, right? Uh, you understand this guy gave the oath to his grandfather he's going to get me killed. So I don't think I can give more precise information about grandfather of the Yanko and Yanko is legacy itself. This is a Barabichik, Tinowski, Zahertan, uh, backstabbing, uh, mischievous criminal individual that you will actually believe sides with you when in the background he's going to be building you to death. He's going to be digging and digging and digging for more and more enemies together uh, and then use them to crush eventually as I exactly give you details on how the people that otherwise would help you out Without absolutely any doubt, this individual is a snitch, a top snitch, top operative of Milan Kucha. For those unfamiliarized with Milan Kucha and Boris Pahor, these are the compadres. But, you know, the thing is, they are all the same. There is no, there, you know, for me to talk about any of these people, whether that be Yanis, Yanshad, all these people, all these people are Udba operatives. Yanis, Yansha is even more guilty than individual than you see here who also wanted to get me killed all his life. Because supposedly it's the opposition. <laughs> and you've got nothing to worry about with a position like this, nothing really go wrong with the Peterle, with the Rupel, 
uh, I'm not saying that nothing can go wrong, that you have nothing to worry about. These are the people that were involved since my childhood. You understand? Since I was in the fucking kindergarten, even before I was in the kindergarten. So they didn't manage to resolve this case for 50 fucking years. So that must be true that with Yansha, with Peter Le, with Rupert, with all these politicians, Boucher, these people here should really have, and they really didn't have anything to worry about, at least for the last 50 years not. All right, folks, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching this video. And I said, and as I said, this is the guy I will demand 10 life sentences, no one. I want this guy to be taken care of. He's already way overdue. Till next time, we'll be next time.